Hey, Karthik here from Double Lab and welcome to the eighth video of our dialogue flow series. Now you have made a Google action and you are all ready to share it with the world. But how do you go around getting it to your friends? Today we are going to see how to submit your Google action to the Google action store. And for this video, what I'm going to do basically is go to the actions on Google dashboard. And I have an action here that I have built and I'm going to use that to showcase on how to submit it to the store. So I'll just click on this one. And basically this is where you can see all the steps that are needed for us to submit to the store. So this is something uh, that you can always visit by clicking on the overview tab here. And since I have finished almost all of them, you won't be able to see this screen might be a bit different for you. But uh, since I finished it, everything is a bit different here. So let's get started. So the thing that we are going to start is with the quick setup. So I'm just going to click on quick setup. And one of the uh, items here is to decide how your action is invoked. So let's click on this. And here is the display name for your action and also how it is going to get invoked. So what I'm going to do here is I've already put in a name here and this is where you can put in a name that you want users to in, uh, use when they want to invoke your agent. So I've just put in here Dabble Lab, but if it is something different for you, you should just change it and put that same thing there. Now, one more thing that you can do is you can also click on, click to hear the pronunciation of your name. Um, so I'm just going to click here and it will tell me how it will play an audio of how it pronounces it and if you want to modify it you can modify it by clicking on the edit button here now apart from this on this screen you all uh, the another thing that you can do is also choose the type of voice that you would like to use for your action now here are four options that is female one female two male one and male two and if you had any more languages you can go here modify those languages and add all of those settings in this tab okay so now that's all about invocation let's go back all right so now that we are back here the next thing that we are going to do is we have to build your action now this is something that you don't have to do if you if you started with building your actions so now we can just click on this and see what are the options underneath here and you can basically see there are two actions that needs to be done here so the first one is to add actions which is also known as intents uh, while you try to build your own um, dialog flow agent so I'm sure you have we have covered that in the uh, past videos. So you can see this one has just one intent. What I can do is I can click on add action and I can choose one more intent here. But the best way to do this would be from your dialogue flow um, console and then have all of it reflected here. Right. So that is all about the actions here. I'm just going to go back. And now that we have built some actions, chances are that you will also you would also would have tested it out in the simulator now if you have not you can always click on test actions in simulator and what this basically does is it would open up the simulator and open up the test simulator and you can test it out from here and now once you have done that and you come back to overview that part is also done for you all right so now that you have done the quick setup you have completed the actions. The last step is to get ready for deployment. And if once you click on that, there are three options, uh, three list items here. The first one is to enter the information required. So I'm just going to click here on this. Now, these are the information that you need to fill up and I have already filled up, but I'm going to go quickly through all of them to showcase what are the options that are available here. So starting with the description, um, there is the description here there's a short description and a full description and the cool thing about this is as you fill up all these items you can see it gets updated here and this is basically how your agent is going to look like in the store so this is a preview on the right hand side here so let's say if I say something like Dabble Lab has cool tutorials and pretty much it will get updated here all right so uh, if i say something here dabble lab has school tutorials and it will get updated here so that's pretty much 
the short description and the full description then you also have sample invocation so basically remember in the first step we added an invocation name um, on how to invoke your invoke your agent but here you can add the sample invocation so basically if someone says okay google talk to dabble lab you can also add something like okay google open dabble lab and so on and so forth and all of these items that you add will get added here as well so that is so make sure that you add invocations that would be useful for the users to access something very specific in your agent all right so now that we are done with the sample invocations the la uh, the next part is images and what you can do here is you can upload a small logo which would be the logo that would show up here and optionally you can also upload a large banner image of the given uh, size that is 1920 by 1080 and once you have done that you can then fill up your contact details here and from the contact details after the contact details are filled up you can also put in the privacy and consent form you can fill that up and um, once you are done with the privacy and consent form this is the final step where you have the category and there are different categories here so choose which category best suits your uh, agent and click on that and also fill up these forms whether if your agent is for under age 13 or does it have some alcohol or tobacco related content and this is one of the most important things is basically there will be a team for the Google store actions on Google store which will review your agent. So you would want to make sure that when they are testing it, they just understand how to test this properly and make sure that you provide all the information needed here inside the testing instructions. Now this can include any test accounts or any dummy accounts for them to test and also a brief overview of how your skill works and what it is intended to do apart from that if you have used any of the transaction api or the purchase api and does any of the mic, mic actions at any point leave the mic open if you feel any of them are true you should then just tick mark all of those things and now once you are done with all of those things and you just click on save here that would tick mark everything and your agent will be ready for submission so let's just come back and at this point what has happened is we have completed all those steps now just a couple of steps that are remaining is basically selecting the countries where your actions will be deployed to and if you click here basically there are a lot of countries which you have which you have access to so you can choose which one you want to have access to and uh, last but not the least you can also select the services your actions will run on so basically the devices where your agent can run on so google assistant is available mostly for smartphones but apart from that it's also available on google home speakers then there are smart displays then there are android tvs and even wear os devices and uh, uh, on the watches and even on assistant enabled headphones so if you think that maybe your agent is not suited for one of these it's just better to tick them off and not have not have uh, the users face a substandard experience while interacting with your agent so that's that's pretty much all the surface capabilities that you can put in here now once you have done all those things your agent is going to be ready for release so the way we can now do this is by clicking on this arrow here in release and now once i do that there are three options here production beta and alpha so let's first start with alpha now what alpha does basically is is, is it allows you to release your actions but the test cohort or the number of people that you can send it to is only 20 users also when you try to do this uh, there is no review that is going to happen and this would directly go to the users so make sure that you choose any close friends or family members for testing this out or a very internal close group of testers now once you do that and let's say those users give you some feedback you fix that and then you are now ready for say a next round uh, with more users in that case you can use 
beta testing now what beta testing does is it allows you to test your actions with up to 200 users but in this case what's going to happen is when you submit for beta the google actions actions on google store is going to review your action and make sure that it follows their policies and all those uh, trademark copyrights and stuff like that and then approve it and only then your users can test so just make sure that uh, you have everything ready before you uh, submit it for beta and once you're done with your beta phase and you're sure that everything is working fine it's time now to turn on the switch and launch your agent uh, out into the world uh, actions out into the world the the way that you would do that is by clicking on submit for production and this is the final stage, which means your action so sh shows up on the action store. And creating a new release for any of these three steps is pretty easy. All you have to do is click on this button. And once you click on, just make sure that uh, you have tested your actions on the web simulator or the device. And you have read through the launch checklist, which again, there's a link here. So just make sure you have followed through all of these items and then click on submit that's the same way it goes for submit for beta and submit for production now whenever you have submitted it and there's any issue or if your action is approved you will get an email and then you can start marketing your action well that's how you would go about submitting your actions to the google store i hope you found this video helpful and i can't wait to test your actions from the action store if you like this video, do subscribe to the Double Lab YouTube channel. And if you have any queries as usual, drop a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you.